Next technique is for treatment of hypertonic trapezius or levator scapulae for the patient that can cause shoulder pain. So patient's trapezius muscles, if they are hypertonic, you can induce a direct inhibition of the tissues by grabbing posteriorly and anteriorly on the thumbs and you can feel the hypertonicity of the tissues. Whichever your trapezius is more hypertonic, you can add more pressure on that muscle to help engage and soften or decrease the hypertonicity of that muscle. Another way to treat this is with muscle energy. We can help engage that trapezius and levator scapulae by putting your opposite hand shoulder into the patient's opposite shoulder. Once you engage that, you're, whole, you're using a support for your forearm for, to support the patient's head, and you can push and turn the patient's head on the opposite side. That will help engage the patient's trapezius as well as stretch their scalenes. Once you're establishing a stretch for those muscles, you can ask the patient to push and turn their head gently to the opposite for three to five seconds and relax. Further stretch, one more time. Relax, further stretch, one last time. And relax, final stretch. Other place, other side of the muscle can be engaged there as well, performing the same technique on the other side. Now, if you wanna engage the patient's trapezius on the posterior aspect of the cervicals, you could cross both hands over the patient's shoulders and flex the patient's head and neck until you get to a restrictive barrier and then ask the patient to push their head backwards against your forearms. Two, three, four, five, three to five seconds, or three to five times, one more time. Two, three, four, five, one last time. And again, push back. Two, three, four, five, final stretch and put the patient back into neutral and recheck the patient's trapezius as well as their levator scapulae.